Hey guys, Chelsea here. Welcome to Enlisted. Now, this is going to be looking at Enlisted and really I think five things that they should add to the game. Now, this is not going to be like, oh, new campaigns, new levels, stuff like that. But this is just five things I think they should add to Enlisted that will probably make it better in the long run. Now, I'm not going to be including like stuff, for example, like armor train for every campaign because that's pretty much a given armor train is going to show up in every campaign so i'm not going to be including this what i will be including is stuff like for example you know in a, you know i'm just going to not going to spoil it in the intro but stuff which haven't been confirmed but probably should be added anyways let's start with number five which is actually something i'm taking from uh, cod black ops 2 actually which is got to be the um Codcaster, if you remember that. Now, I think that would be actually quite cool. It was one of the coolest parts about Black Ops 2, in my opinion. It made Black Ops 2 so good because you could just, you know, you could Codcast, basically, where you could um, go back and watch gameplay clips of zombies, of multiplayer, and it made it easier to pick up these clips. And I think that would be just great because sometimes I forget to record. Like, I've had games where I've done incredibly well, but I've forgotten to hit record, so... Something like that could be very interesting. It, there's one of these in Company of Heroes 2 as well, but that's a completely different game to Black Ops 2. That's why I was using Black Ops 2 as the example, because, well, it's essentially a replay mode, really. So you can replay the action, you can look back on what everyone's doing. And I think, that, I think it'll look quite cool. It was incredibly fun in Black Ops 2, just looking back, looking at some of the funny moments and uploading them. I had a few hilarious clips on PS3, if you... You can find them if you want. They're really a bit cringy, actually. <laughs> yeah, so I think it'll just be quite cool. And it would help, I think, with um, creators. Because you can make creators... Um, creators can go back and look at clips. Speaking of creators, this is actually going to be something I think will benefit creators a lot. And it's going to benefit me a bit as well. And that is private custom matches. Because, let's face it... If you go into a custom match, now this is something Quadro himself even has been suggesting. But basically, you go into a custom match, it's a crapshoot basically on who's going to join. Like, I could easily join a game by this console player here and completely stomp his team, right? And it's a crapshoot. I could go into this game, you know, it's a console player, one in his own. And I, and it's because it's got Normandy. I could literally just, you know, beat beat him relentlessly because, well... I'm good at Normandy, and I've got all of Max. I've got maxed out Normandy, which this guy he might have. Like there is people, of course, who are on console who have maxed out Normandy, but you know, it, I mean, it's not fun as well when you're trying to have a private game or you're just trying to do like some, you know, record a video. Then bang, some guy comes in, which has happened to me, by the way. I've actually had games where I'm trying to record video, trying to record gameplay footage for enlisted and then bang five guys come out of nowhere and suddenly the lobby's full of tryhards and it's it's kind of annoying especially when you just want to have a relaxing game you want to finish your battle pass tasks all of that and it's just it's it's uh, it's boring it's annoying and yeah which is why i think it needs to you know be addressed it needs to be a custom you know I know it even it even says in the main settings, I think it used to, you know, kick. You know, you could kick people for, um, you know, kick people. But nowadays you can't, which is sad in my opinion. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to number three, which I should have actually not clicked off that. Events. In particular, Steel Fortress. Now, Steel Fortress in general is just a shit event. Everyone hates it. Like, look at the guy's literally at the top is called Berlin Axis 2 OP. Look at the leaderboard. Like, I mean, I, I think I did a video where I was criticizing the events, and a couple of my buddies won here. Like, some of these people, you know, just. Oh. For fuck's sake. Uh, anyways, like, the, the Steel Fortress, Sandstorm as well, and to an extent, what was the other one? It was like. I can't remember what the other one was. Modern Warfare. You know, they, they, they're they worthless. And these faceplates as well. They're only... They're limited time as well, might I add. Like, I've got this as well, this faceplate. But this is I've got permanently because... I, I'm not going to... It's basically you get it for some reason. I got it for some reason. I don't get it. I don't know how I got this one. But, yeah, I've got this one. 
but you can purchase these as well. I know some people have purchased these with gold. I haven't purchased anything. You can also do the same with portraits, I believe. Yeah, you can purchase a few portraits. I've not done that. I don't want to do that. So, but yeah, event-wise, you know, the events are just... Why? You know, why would I grind to be the first player just to get one badge? Like, a badge... And these wings things that only show up for 60 days. And a profile picture for 60 days. Like, I, I get, you know, pr you know, so this, I would say just having the, the, the base rewards, which was just like, you win a battle for, and you got like, you know, some silver orders, you know, that's fine, I, in my opinion. But this, why is some of the things here, it's, I think it's worthless at the moment, so they need to rehold these events, especially, especially the rewards. Speaking of rewards, Battle Pass. This needs a complete retooling, like, in my opinion. Now, obviously, there are some good things about the Battle Pass. As you can see, I've actually not done anything with the Battle Pass yet, because I haven't been playing the game much. But there is some good things with the Battle Pass, as in you get, you, you basically, if you get the, if you pay for it and you get to all the way to the very end, you will get your money back and a little bit extra. And of course you do get a lot of stuff like the 20 silver orders here. That's nothing to laugh about. You know, four, you know, bronze, you know, four silver orders. That's nothing to laugh about. Stuff like that, you know. XP boosters, gold orders, you know, they're nothing to laugh about. But, you know, there's not really much in the battle pass that's really exciting. Like, that's exciting to be honest. You know, five matches of 100% XP, that's pretty good. And, you know, compared to something like this, which is just three matches. But, you know, stuff like this, all the cool signs, like, who's going to do this? Especially because it's only two. This would be good if it's, like, ten, but I, I don't get some of these. You know, level up orders, I don't use these at all. You know, some of these I don't even use. And look at, the, look at this, you get, like, the same here as you get here for pay. Like, why? I can get this one, you know, because it's, you know, it's the free one, but you look at stuff like, you know, a gold order, you know, why? You know, just a gold, or, you know, just a single gold order. And then when you get to the end, it's just trooper, you know, one trooper, two silver orders, one trooper, booster, silver order weapons, trooper, booster, stuff like that. It's not fun, in my opinion, and yeah... I think it just, it doesn't, I think they need to change it. And I, I don't know if they've taken out the Academy. No, that, I think they might have taken out the Academy Orders. Because there used to be Academy Orders. I think they've taken them out now. I, I, I still had a few of those. Before, you know, before the Academy went completely to hell. So, yeah. I don't get that. And the final thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to hop over to Tunisia. Because we all know what it's going to be. Weapons and them, the fact that they are being reused in every campaign. Now, some of these weapons make sense. The Lee Enfield, the SMLE, you know, that they make sense. You know, and the Grand, you know, have a semi-automatic option. But why is the A4 and the A1 in there and the M1 Carbine? You know, why is the BARA2 in here? Why is, for example, what's another assault weapon? There's two Thompson variants which are in here. When I think these two should not be in here. The same with the Winchester, it shouldn't be here. The Axes have it even worse, in my opinion. Like, you know, a lot of Carcanos. Why is the Car 98K here then? You know, why is the Car 98K with the shooting cup here? The Gravia 41. You've already got the, whatever this is. The pre-war Car 98K. Why is that here? Like... That just made me more angry than it should have. I get the ZB because, let's face it, you know, being incentivized to not use the Brader is a is a reward in itself. But and I can understand like the Panzer bushes because that's because there wasn't really any you know Italian anti tank weapons. But and tank wise, you know, the Panzer. I, I think the tanks they did actually quite well. Actually, the tanks they did incredibly well. You know, Grant. M13, that, actually, that was the thing they did well, the vehicles. But the weapons, just having so much recycle. And Berlin's guilty of this as well. Don't I'm not getting, but Berlin's not getting off the hook either. You know, you've got 
the, you know, the Mosins, which I, I get, you know, there's, there's three Mosins, for example. Like, I get the Mosin Carbine, you know, with the bayonet, that's because that wasn't in Moscow, but the others are in Moscow. You know, the, with the you know, with these, the Toz B, the PPD-40. Like, why is the PPD-40 here? Like, I could say the PPSH-41 being here, but the PPD-40... You know, the DP-27 I get as well, because that's very late in Moscow. For the Axis as well, but the Axis I think has it even worse, because you get the car 98 k for the full time. But that's even the worst thing. The worst thing is, there's another car 98 k there's actually two of them. Like, and you have, like, you have the VG2. Like, I can understand if this was the, the default. The car 98K was the default. And then you had the VG2 as the secondary. But none of them had bayonets. That would be that would be fine, in my opinion. But, you know, half of these... The other stuff as well. Like, some of the... The M30. The MP40, which is in every campaign. The MP35, which is in pretty much every campaign. Other than Tunisia, ironically. The Beretta, which is in every campaign. The MG34, like, that's in every campaign as well. The Flammenwerfers, they're in every campaign. Like, I don't get some of these unlocks. Like, you can, you can understand, you know, stuff like this. This is unique. That's new. As well as this, you know, stuff like the Panzer 4J. Why is the Panzer 4J here? Like, I can understand if it was a Panzer 4H. But why the J? It's immediately outclassed by, like, look at this. Look, look what the uh, the Allies get. The Soviets they get the they get two versions of the T thirty four eighty five, which eat apart Panzer four Js. The Panther's more of a match. So is the the Panzer four seventy, and of course the Yag, and of course, and um, I can't talk about the Tiger in the room, but. Again, some of these as well are in other campaigns. I'm, I'm going to exclude the ME410 because that was added later in Normandy. But, you know, the Stuckers are already in the game. You know, there's four versions of the BF109. Like, why is there three versions of the BF109? And, of course, another and a version of the Fokker Wolf. I don't know about the Soviets as well. I think there's a few of these as well which are in other campaigns as well. Like, I don't get some of these recycled weapons. Like, I can understand, you know, stuff like, hey, you know, if it's something like the PPSH, which was in both campaigns, and they're both high-level unlocks, and stuff like the Car 98K, yeah, I can understand. But why is the Car 98K in Tunisia, and why are there two versions of it in Berlin? In fact, why are there two versions of it in fucking Moscow, of all things? Like, you get... Car 98k, pre-war car 98k, why? Like, why is this in the game? Like, um, Normandy as well, as well. There's a few things in Normandy. Like, you've got weapons like the M3A1 grease gun, which wasn't even invented. You've got stuff like the FNAB, which would, which never saw service in Normandy. You know, and it's just clogging up the... Um, Clogging up the weapon slots, you know, you've got stuff like the Beretta M1918, which should be in Tunisia as well. Like, I think I already said that in my uh, other video where I think weapons that should be in other campaigns. But yeah, I, I, I generally do not, I can't, you know, I, I, I don't understand why some of these weapons are in the game. And I think when the next update drops, it should not have recycled weapons. And to add to the point, the last last update, all we got was a car 98k with a grenade launcher again for the Axis. Why? Like, the Allies, yeah, you could make an art. It's a bit lazy to have the Garand again, but at least the, with this sniper Garand, you can make the argument, you know, hey, you know, the grenade, the grenade launcher version was the M1 Carbine, and now you can actually have a good grenade launcher, and this one can, you know, take out tanks somewhat but the other one as well it can't even take out tanks like it can't even like the fucking this one can't can barely take out tanks and the shooting cup's about as good as taking out infantry so yeah anyways i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys have enjoyed leave your thoughts about some things about you know enlisted in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video